So I know a lot of people were excited for God Eater as much as I am, and let's just go straight into this because this thing got delayed, it got halted, the screens were stopped. But a lot of people were actually nervous about the series. Like, why is your football like keep cancelling? Is it really gonna turn out bad? And I'm just gonna get straight out for you because if you don't know who the fuck your football are, they did. Fate Zero, Nuff said they did Kara no Kyokai. Like, they're mainly known for the States series. They've also done, like, the animation opening for the uh, Tales series as well. Mainly, like, what they've done is, like, the new stuff, like, the Stelia, Zillia. Like, they've done a bunch of that. And I believe they're doing, uh, like, an anime project with them as well. And I think they're doing the animation opening for the new series as well. So, I'm really mad and excited for it. I mean, I'm looking forward to it when I watched it. And it's like... Let's go fucking in. It looks gorgeous. That is just one thing. Whenever the rain goes off in this entire series, it's just, oh, it just reminds me so much of Kara no Kyoka, just the amount of animation. So what from what we can get from this series is that it's like a kind of post-apocalyptic world, and I'm going to say it straight out, guys. It's Attack on Titan straight up. I mean, kind of, it feels like with Attack on Titan, if... Attack on Titan didn't lose all its technology, like, um, because it's still supposed to be in the future of Attack on Titan, but it's, they actually kept their technology and they actually found ways to combat them instead of, like, the actual Titans itself. There's these things called Aragamis, which are these, like, demonic kind of little beings that they take care of, and then they have, like, these God Eaters, which they have, like, these special abilities, and, like, you also see that there's, like, our main character, Lenka, who normally, because this game is a like monster hunter kind of clone game like all you pretty much do in the series is like there's not a lot of plot you just go around killing the aragami although it's more plot driven than most monster hunter clones and stuff and i gotta say the main character linka this is the only thing i'll say about the series like um that i had any real issue with is that he just straight up felt like aaron yeager his whole goal is just like oh, i want to kill the aragami I have nothing. like from what we know of him thus far from like episode one he just feels like kind of like, main protagonist he's just there because like the the normal like god of your series you are the main protagonist you are the main and obviously they wanted to bring like a little bit more flesh into character but i feel like hopefully we see a little bit more of an interesting side from him because honestly he just feels like kind of the samey revenge uh, kind of character it's like oh i want revenge because you know maybe they killed my sister or my family or something like that but the only thing that's different about him is like he's a new kind of a new type where he actually is able to like transform his weapon like he's actually able to like turn it into a gun it's turned into sword because it's like they're differentiated from like types so you had like gunners you had people with the swords and i gotta say Everyone else on the team looks fucking badass. I know about Elisa. I know that she's a badass bitch, but we didn't really get to see her in this episode. Like, I know about a few of the characters, and I know a few bits of their story, but I gotta say, um, from what it was showing down, like, him kind of just bonding, and a lot of it was really just training. It was a very enjoyable first episode. It was really more giving, like, a kind of, like, this guy's working hard. He's actually working. Not just, like, Aaron's just straight going in, like, I'm gonna kill all the Titans. Like, fuck all that. Like, I will say, if you're, like, going to choose between the two, I would rather watch the first episode of Attack on Titan than to this. This looks, I would say, better than, the, like, the Attack on Titan episode. Like, what I'd say the series, like, I think this, like, it absolutely is gorgeous. Like, honestly, watch some, like, scenes from, like, Fate Zero. Or just watch Fate Zero or, like, Kara no Kyokai movies. They're absolutely fantastic, and they look even good. Even, though like, this new um, Fate Stay series as well looks absolutely great. And it's like, you fumble, putting their all work. And they normally do create a lot of fucking great anime. And it's I'm very curious, like, what they're really going to do with this series. It's going to be 13 episodes. So there's a lot of things like, that still got to be answered throughout the series. I mean, I had a fun with this series. Like, I, I was expecting an Attack on Titan kind of Monster Hunter sort of, like, flow from this series. And I got that in episode one. I thought it was a great episode. Like, the only real issue I could say about it is that the character was just, like, what I expected from the series. Uh, the opening's awesome. I really like the opening. It's very cool. And just, like, I hope they don't have any more production issues. I don't want, it to, like, any episodes to get delayed or have any issues with it. So I hope that doesn't happen for the rest of the series. But I give this episode a solid 8. I thought it was a great episode. I really would recommend it out of all the stuff that's out there. It's probably one of the better ones that have been out, especially for this season. But let's just see what we got to go through this one. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys next time.